is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. <laughs> My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? <laughs> Maybe that's what Mother wants. Not know what mother wanted. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What in all yarns be the hat been doing? We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Tear. Are you coming with us? Well, some of them.
It happened an age ago. But when I recall, I see it true. On a night of wintry fog, the rune of death was stolen. And the demigods began to fall. Starting with Godwin the Golden. Queen Marika was driven to the brink. The shattering ensued a war that wrought only darkness. The Elden Ring was broken. But by whom? And why? What could the demigods ever hope to win by boring? The conqueror of the stars, General Rodar. Blade of Mikkel and Melania the Seventh. These two were the mightiest to remain and locked horns in combat. But there would be no victor. So, we inhabit a fractured world, awaiting the arrival of the Elder Lord. Unless, of course, thou shouldst take the crown. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Gravaton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Take mission. 
to discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch.
HQ 接敵した距離5マル対象は北東に向かって移動中遅れこちら本部了解した作戦を開始しよう了解打撃用意撃て対戦車砲用意撃て HQ 対象は無敵だ効果は見られない撃開し効果は見られない I'm unfashionably late, but I'm ready to give you everything you want.
worst of the worst of the worst. Still, you're good at what you do. Even if what you do is far from good. Welcome to Task Force X. Let me take a look at you. A muscle head. A nut job. Something that offends my eyes. And a homeless person. You're perfect. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? This has one-way ticket written all over it. Oi, what? What the hell have you sent us into? It's a bloody war zone out here. Eyes up, people. Congratulations, Task Force X. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. I was just about to do that! Task Force X. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. Taking on the Justice League is the worst idea you've ever heard? I kinda zoned out. What did you think would happen? You'd crawl out of your cells, swoop in, save the day? Which superheroes did you say you were? Again! Remember, your heads are ticking. not gonna make it. Waller, the penguin is in flight. Repeat, the penguin is in flight. Then let's clip his wings. Oh my god, he's getting up! Hitting him again. He's ran out the door! Somebody stop him! <laughs> did that get him? <laughs> oh, uh, no! Uh, it, it very much did not get him! Uh, Waller! Waller! Blow up his head! <sighs> My daughter. A new threat comes to our shores, and I must call you home. Restore what has been broken. Unite old enemies. Forge new bonds. You are a hero, but you can be more. You can be a leader. You are Wonder Woman. talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> They're listening.
if you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. As long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. One who could push me. One who could surprise me. One who could even beat me. Yet all I found is disappointment. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? And she said, With our swords, we will forge new stories to strike the gods that haunt us. You might see me as weak, but I will show you what lies behind my eyes. suffering, soothe our scars of grief, and break their siege of our minds. You may see them as gods, but we will show you what lies behind their eyes. your sacrifice to make, you to lead others to death, brings a different kind of burden, one that Senua would have to learn to bear. That's going to be you. That's going to be everyone. No one's ever killed a giant. What makes you think mm. you can stay down? Those whose eyes are clouded by fear are besieged by the ghosts that haunt them. Senua saw that to win the war we must break this siege. Break it with an unshakable truth. Break it with an impossible feat. Get ready, it's about to start. Get ready. You can do 
Peggy 18. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever finding the story. This is not the story you want it to be. This story will eat you alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello everyone, my name is Swan, producer at Blue 12 Studio, and today I'm going to show you more about Stray. In Stray, you play as a cat who has fallen inside a mysterious and forgotten city. Separated from his family and injured, he will have to explore and survive in this unwelcoming environment. From the cat's unique point of view, players must navigate their way through the dangers of this unfriendly place and use the cat's skills to solve puzzles and uncover mysteries along the way. Along his journey, the cat will meet a small drone named B12. Using the drone's ability to interact with objects in the world and communicate with the strange inhabitants of this secluded place, together they will work to learn more about the secrets of this forgotten community of human-like machines. Of course a cat will always be a cat, and his adventures will be filled with friendly and playful interactions with his new world. But these machines are not the only inhabitants of the city, and some encounters will not be as friendly or safe. Running fast, jumping, and using spells to avoid dangers will all be vital if you want to escape this city and be reunited with family. Unless you find a way to defend yourself, and the prey might become the hunter. Stray is coming to PS4, PS5 as well as PC in early 2022, and we can't wait to show you more.
This is a tale from a long, long time ago, when the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people, while in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Lost and alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. Welcome to the lands of Fae. Portal is a chance for salvation. Uniting the lost survivors. Or leading us deeper into this nightmare. Nightingale, our beacon of hope. But beyond our reach. As long as we stand together, our journey will unite us. You, the Realm Walkers, are all that is left.
trapped. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. No, no! Wait, I'm still here! I saw I warned you! I warned you! should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. Make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? PlayStation.
with this and mysterious sci-fi world. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring, the largest, most wide open environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. The heart of Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet, but you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. Cortana. The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions changed. They always do. Are you sure? Peggy 16.
time is ready, sir. Copy that entry team. Go when ready. <laughs> Okay, it's been 11 years, and we all want to know, what's up with Skate? The truth is, it's early. We're still working on it. You're joking. Has anyone seen gameplay? No, well, a couple people have seen it. What people? Ah! Sick. It's about time. They've seen it? It just looks beautiful. This whole open online world. online sessions like that. Enough to board and back. Me. Reminds me of Escape 2. Oh, cool. You're listening to the fans. And those, the board pop and the throwdown. Yeah, that's a no comply with that. Yeah, you can climb. Playing with all the homies will be so sick. Explain that spinning rail. Can you do that to anything? Like, I don't want to look like anybody else. You guys are in the f***ing future! Wait, the game is? The game's what? Wow. That's interesting. Really? Our big thing is don't f*** it up. You're not going to show us anything. Dude, why are you asking me? So we're just, so we're just going to end here? That's, that's it? Oh, this is such a tease. Stop this. It could destroy all existence. You have your orders. Now get out of there. I'm gonna do what we should have done from the very start. I'm going to the seven. You took an oath. You were trying to get everything we said. Ah! No! I'm gonna need that. Over here. No reason to trust me, but... Oh, no. Hang on! Let's talk! Let's talk! Geno! I can get you to Geno. And the sisters. I can get you all of them. But I need your help to fix that. You have a deal. For now. Oh, that's very reassuring. Time to get to work. Has the 
Midnight moon rises on black wings. We await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. When you're whining, we're almost there. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Long, long ago. Oh no! They're coming! Who is? What the hell was that? Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow we'll all be dead. No, let me go! What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Hey everyone, we've been quiet for some time, since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. You get after those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Oh, shit! At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who helped people in better days. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people. Remember? My runners are gone. Finished. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> and these are the modern Dark Ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People 
fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? Make him tough. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. Just remember, each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't ya? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Your only escape? Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Or even greater threat. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Luckily, you have all the tools you need to survive. Your extraordinary parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most treacherous terrain. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart, resourceful, and determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. It's up to you if you focus mostly on mobility and parkour, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. But most importantly, 
you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. <laughs>
to go to work. Hello, my name is Dan Salvato. I'm the creator of the psychological horror game Doki Doki Literature Club. And now, after a lot of really passionate work from a whole bunch of people, I'm delighted to share Doki Doki Literature Club Plus with you for the first time. I'm sure some of you already can't wait to revisit your friends in the club, but if you're new to Doki Doki Literature Club, we're excited for you to meet the club members for the first time on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox this summer. DDLC Plus gives the original PC game high-definition visuals and brings it to a number of new platforms. It's also packed with all kinds of new features and content for both existing fans and new players to experience and enjoy. There's a lot of cool stuff for me to go over, but there are also some things that you'll have to discover for yourself when you play the game. DDLC is a game that explores the unique kind of relationship that people can have with fictional characters, and the relationship they have with video games in general. I wanted to make a game that causes people to think more deeply about how they mentally and emotionally process their experience with fiction, and using psychological horror to deeply disturb them is a really effective way of achieving that. I always felt like the members of the Literature Club deserved more of a space to get to know each other and kind of explore their interpersonal relationships. So for DDLC Plus, I wrote a new storyline that I call the Side Stories. The Side Stories are unrelated to the events of the original game and they instead focus on how all the club members went from first meeting each other to becoming close friends. I really wanted to create an environment where these characters have to learn to overcome their communication barriers and respect each other's needs and reflect on themselves. And I think that will be really meaningful to those of you who relate to the characters, or maybe even find yourselves in similar situations. I think this is a great time for some wholesome storytelling that can help keep us inspired to continue improving ourselves and our relationships with others. The side stories also have a brand new soundtrack to go along with them. Music has always been an important part of DDLC, and really important to me personally as a part of playing video games. I love how music tracks sort of absorb all the emotions you feel during the game, and how it all comes rushing back whenever you hear the songs again. So for the side stories, I brought in a new composer, Nikki Kylar, who shares the same passion and understanding of the special impact of video game music. Nikki and I worked really closely together on songs that have some familiar catchy melodies along with a bunch of brand new ones. To make it even better, DDLC Plus has a built-in music player. The music player has 26 music tracks in total. I really hope you enjoy discovering the new music as you play the side stories, which will also unlock them in the music player. Speaking of unlockables, another fun new feature is the picture gallery, where you can unlock pictures as you play the game. There are more than 100 unlockable pictures, like game artwork, wallpapers, and never-before-seen concept sketches of certain memorable scenes from the game. I think it's a fun way to encourage people to try new things in DDLC, and see if they can discover all the content. It's not easy to reach 100% content completion, but I bet if you and your friends share each of your own discoveries, you'd be able to do it together. That's about it for the stuff I'm ready to talk about today. For everything else, you'll just have to discover it yourself. 
I know that there's always a concern with re-releases or special editions having a whole bunch of changes to them or the original content being tampered with in some way. So we thoughtfully included all the new content in a way that ensures the main game, Doki Doki Literature Club, is as authentic and true to the original as possible. Overall, I really wanted to make DDLC Plus not only really special for existing fans, but also a fantastic and accessible way for new players to get in on the psychological horror experience. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Something that's a part of you. Like your name. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No! Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know, we clearly need a plan. If you see anything with claws the size of tracks, let me know. We got this. Drax, throw them. No! You monster! No! We disrobe! Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. Smash him up, Drax! Meet your maker! We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. Get him! You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what! More, no killing teammates. That's who. It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. We can do this together. Parking uh. brake, Quill. I got a little job for you, pal. They mess with me! They mess with the biggest boy in town! I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? Ooh, yeah! And if he's ratting us out, Kill him. It's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut up, Carl! 